We'll go ahead and start with our post-race, continue on with our post-race press conferences for today's CampingWorld.com 500. We are now joined by our race-winning crew chief, Todd Gordon, and our race-winning team owner, Roger Pinsky. Uh, Todd, we'll start with you. I'm sure it was pretty stressful on top of the box in those final laps. Tell us about the final laps in the race today. I'd say we were probably the lowest stress group coming into today, but, uh, um, you know, the final laps there, we, uh, we had a good car. Uh, I felt like we could, we could contend and, and, you know, pit execution in the pits and got us to the point where we were, uh, we got off pit road that last fuel only stop, uh, first. And, uh, you know, it's just watching it go and seeing what was happening with 16, cause he was trying to make it on fuel. I uh, wasn't sure where that was going to go, but then when the caution comes out, a bunch of everybody out pits, uh, it definitely put us in a position where, uh, uh, you knew it was going to be restarts, um, and, and and playing the one restart rule, we uh, we we got through it, and, uh, and you know with a caution coming up pretty quickly there, uh, survived. So uh, just just phenomenally uh, proud of this whole Shell Plains Oil team and what they did. All right, and Roger, the number twenty two team has swept all three races in the contender round. Big accomplishment for the team. Um, talk about their momentum as of late. Well, I, I think if we sat down prior to this round and said someone would win all three, they'd said you were crazy. But I think the execution uh, that Todd and uh, Joey obviously driving just at the top of his game. And I think today when you look at that last pit stop, you know, that made the difference both in the two and the 22 getting out uh, and getting out in the lead there was key. And to me, it's uh, moving on to the next round. This is going to be tough as we go into these next three races. And our goal, obviously, is to get to, to Homestead with, with two and the 22. But uh, great, uh, great job. And it's a uh, part of this is not just who's here at the racetrack. It's the people who, you know, support us back uh, at the shop, uh, some 350 people who work every day. And we don't see those folks. I've said it before. And, and our sponsor, Shell Penn's Oil, and no question, uh, the Ford Motor was strong today, Roush Yates uh, and Miller Lite. We had our, our best game on for the last three races, and I think it proved it, you know, with the success we've had. But, you know, we know <clears throat> we've been in this position before leading into a particular situation. We know how tough it is to stay on top. All right, we'll go ahead and open it up to questions. Please state your name and affiliation. All right, we'll start with Stan. Stan Creekmore with RPMTonight.com. Um, Todd, what was the process of deciding on that on that last restart to to switch positions so that so that you you know Logano and 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 his teammate weren't front you know front to rear to each other? Well, I mean, Joey and I talked a little bit about it. I, I let him make both of those decisions. So maybe that's a better question later. But uh, I felt like you know the 24 has been strong, obviously. Uh, qualified on the pole by by two tenths and something so you know the 24 is really strong uh and didn't didn't really want to stack the 24 and 88 together in one lane so uh um knew that knew that brad was in a really good position and and as far as making it on the next round and and we felt like splitting the splitting the hundred cars up and and ourselves up that that uh um you know we we could get a better run being the restart uh being the leader you, you get to set the restart and uh and took the opportunity to, to to split those guys up all right we'll go to the far right uh, jonathan ingram from the sports exchange um what was your take on the first restart when it was decided that it really wasn't a green flag start i i i I think you need to ask somebody at, 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 in, in race control uh, how that's defined. I, I, I thought it was I thought I thought it was over at that point, but obviously uh, I, I didn't quite understand it as, as well as they do. So um, fortunately, we got a second opportunity and did the same thing. Any additional questions for Roger or Todd? Is there a question up front? Matthew Copen with WSFA TV. Uh, Mr. Pinsky, uh, for years I would. Many would assume uh, Roush was the premier four team. Can you tell me a little bit about the rise of Penske? Y'all have been doing so well lately. Um, can you tell me a little bit about the rise of Penske and how you've been performing? Well, uh, I don't know if it's been a rise or not. I think, uh, you know, it's just been a team that's really come together when Brad came on board. And, uh, you know, we saw some success in 2012. And, you know, having Joey <clears throat> be available to come on the team and these guys have worked together. And I've said it before with uh, Paul Wolf and Todd, both of them coming up through uh, 
the Nationwide or Infinity Series gave them confidence and also, you know, built that nucleus of people, you know, around the team. And I think uh, Roush H has stepped up. Uh, you know, we thank them for that. And I think our Arrow guys, uh, you know, all the people back at the shop have made a difference. Uh, you know, Roush is a great organization. I think they're showing some speed here now. And I think that uh, as we get into the different rule package, I think they'll be right back there. All right, we'll go ahead and finish up with Jenna. Jenna Fryer, AP. Todd, I know this was way back in the field behind you, but the four car knew it had a problem and knew that it couldn't go on the restart. What's the right thing for a guy to do in that situation? Uh, I, I, I don't know what was going on there, to be honest with you. I mean, you got to try to maximize your, your opportunity to, 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 to make it, right? So um, uh, I think if, if the car's still running and still capable of going, you. You try to get everything you can out of it. All right, Roger and Todd, congratulations on the win today, and good luck next weekend. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we'll go ahead and continue on with our post-race availability in today's CampingWorld.com 500. We are now joined by race winner Joey Logano, driver of the number 22 Shell Pennzoil Ford. Joey, you've swept all three races and the contender round. Quite an accomplishment for you and the 22 team. Talk about your team's momentum and the win here today. We got momentum, <laughs> that's for sure. Uh, this team's just been uh, firing all late right now. Um, it's amazing. All these different types of racetracks we've been able to win at this season, um, and how hard uh, everyone keeps fighting. And and uh, you know we want the big trophy at the end of the year. You know we want to win every trophy in between, but we want the the big one uh, at the end of the season. And this uh, you know what we've shown here this last round um, is a big deal. But the fact of the matter is is we're back to zero again. <laughs> and uh, you know what we do have going for us that other teams don't have is a lot of confidence. We got momentum, and. Um, you know we're, we're relaxed you know we, we, we uh, we've we've shown that we we know how to do it um, we just got to keep going out there and doing what we know how to do all right we'll go ahead and open it up to questions please state your name and affiliation we'll start up front with George and then go to Don yeah Joy George Diaz with the Orlando Sentinel can you take us through the last uh, I guess it was the the, the only green white checker that counted how concerned were you that junior could could catch you there well, you know, it's going to be um, some back and forth for sure on what was going to happen. And um, when you're lining up against the, the best at super speedway racing, you know, and, and, and in a very fast car, he's proved that uh, throughout the whole day that he's, his car was very fast. Also proved that the 24 was really fast throughout the day as well. So, um, you know, I wanted to have that 24 behind me to push. Uh, yeah, I felt like he was really good on restarts. I saw that earlier in the race. So I felt like, okay, that's, that's what I got to do. I got to get around those guys. And, um, you know, I was able to, I wanted to split them up for one. I, I thought those two together would be too strong to beat. Uh, so I felt like I had to split them up. I thought the top lane was the, the lane of choice that I, I felt like we needed to have. And uh, was able to uh, make the run and, and get out ahead enough before the caution came out. All right, we'll go to Don Coble and then up to the press box. Joey, Don Coble with Morris News Service. When, after, you know, you kind of figured out that you had won, um, you know, this is, I mean, Talladega is a place where Earnhardt is, you know, this is this is their mecca. You know, fans were throwing stuff. Did you have to steer through some of that? And, and you weren't really the villain, but, you know, anybody that beats Earnhardt is kind of like a guy who kicks a puppy, you know? I was uh, I was aiming for him. I was thirsty, so I was aiming for everything. And it's kind of a cool explosion when you hit beer cans and stuff. It explodes all over the place. So um, kind of a shame they're throwing their beers full. I feel bad. I <laughs> feel I should have drank them, <laughs> but uh, that was kind of interesting. Um, it usually is one or two, but that was kind of like it was raining out there, so uh, kind of new thing. But that's okay. It's uh, you know everyone's passionate about their driver, and, and uh, that's what makes our sport great. You know, I, I, I uh, appreciate the, the passion that the, our, our fans have, and I think that's something that's really cool uh, to, to see about the way people act for their um, for their drivers. So uh, you know, hey, it is what it is. Um, doesn't hurt my race car <laughs> and uh, our race cars are built strong so they can hit a lot of stuff and and keep on rolling all right we'll go up to the press box thanks it's uh, john oriovitz with the spn.com uh joey roger penske just said that you know you, you would have been crazy if you thought that anybody could win all three races in a round can you offer your thoughts on what you've achieved by sweeping this round and the momentum it gives you going forward yeah i didn't think it was possible i tell you that much um you know when you when you 
come to chase time everyone's bringing their a game you're bringing everything they got the best they can not only with their race cars but every driver's trying to find that extra little bit and uh, to see what this 22 team's done uh coming into the chase and being able to uh you know have some very good finishes in the first round um click off three wins here in, in a contender round uh you know that's uh it, it sets a statement you know and that's what um you know we tried to do uh you know we were in situations throughout this chase that you know, maybe we didn't have to win but our job is to win. That's what uh, Roger Penske, uh, you know, expects from us. He expects excellence. He expects us to win out, win a lot of races, and um, you know, want to produce. You know, we're it's a performance business, and we got to go out there. And if there's a trophy, we're supposed to get it. That's our job, and uh, it's need to be able to do that. All right. Any additional questions for Joey? We'll go up to the press box and then come back downstairs. We're all clear in the press box. We'll go to Bob and then over to our far right. Um, Bob Pockers, CSPN.com. I'm here in the middle now. Um, hey. What's up? <laughs> uh, do you feel like you could have held off Junior if there were more than uh, if if it if their caution didn't come out? And I was curious if you had seen any of the replays yet of how the caution did come out with uh, the Harvick wreck. I, I didn't see how the crash started or what happened. Yes, which I have no clue what's going on. I. I I, I guess there's been some talk of things. I have no clue. So I, I am I am uh, out of the loop right now, which is a good thing for a change. It's nice <laughs> to be able to uh, uh, not really know what's going on here. But, um, you know, I, I think uh, as far as the last restart and what concerned me, um, racing 88, obviously he was uh, very fast. Like I said, he had a very fast race car. Um, could we have held him off? Yeah, of course. You know, we, we did it earlier in the race. We were we were fighting him hard. Was it going to be easy? No, no. It was going to be very challenging. It was going to be very hard. We're racing against, uh, you know, the best speedway racer uh, that we that we know, right? I mean, he's won a ton of these speedway races, and um, yeah, I look at him as one of the elite speedway racers. And um, you know, to race against him for the win was not going to be easy. But uh, to be able to come out with a checkered flag meant a lot. All right, we'll go to our far right. Um, Joey, um, Mr. Gordon was talking about when you were coming to the green uh, white checker that y'all had a conversation about splitting up the Hendrick cars. Can you take me through that conversation that y'all had and what made you uh, come to that decision? Well, I felt like, um, you know, just kind of going off of what I learned earlier in the race, right? That's what uh, you got to look at and you say, okay, 24 car. Obviously, the fastest car on the racetrack. He's proved that uh, throughout the race. He's able, every time he gets shuffled out, he drove all the way back up. Obviously, he's a great race car driver, but he had a fast race car as well. Um, we saw it in qualifying as well, how fast this car was. Um, I know the 88 was fast. He led a lot of laps. We ran around him all day as well. I know the two's got the same thing as me. <laughs> and I thought if those 200 cars team up, it'd be very, very hard to beat them. No matter how great Brad and I always work together, it's going to be hard to beat them. And, uh, you know, it's, that, that just goes to show we have a lot to work to do still. We still have to be better. But um, the, the strategy of, of, of splitting them up and, uh, and, and getting the push from the 24 was going to, I felt like it was my best bet. All right, we'll go ahead and finish up with Don Coble in the middle. A quick vote on that. Uh, after all the stuff's going on behind you, which I'm sure you're more worried about the 88 beside you, was there an ever a point where you two were like, he was in front, you were in front, he was in front? So did it really come down to just when that light came on? Oh, yeah, that's definitely when it, it, it decided it. Um, I was in front of him uh, the whole time, and then the caution light came out, uh, and it's over. You know, we, we left. So it, it's kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, a mood point after that, what's going to happen because um, the cars behind you lift, you lose your pushes. So you don't know where you, what was going to happen after that. But, uh, you know, we, we, I know we had a good start. Being that control car was a big deal. Having the 24 to push me, getting up to second, to third gear, um, you know, gave us enough of a lead that uh, as he started pulling us back, on the inside, he definitely had momentum as he was starting to get, catch us and, and probably was going to be in the lead at some point. Uh, I don't know if he would have cleared us, but he probably would have, we would have been side by side off at two most likely. Uh, so it's hard to say what would have happened, but uh, you know, the fact of the matter is they're crashing behind you, right? You got to throw the caution, it's a, a big crash. So um, you know, we weren't going to be able to go back through there again. No, he wasn't. Not that, not, not that I know of. I mean, I, I had probably had the best view of anyone. So, uh, you know, the, only the two of us probably could see that the best. <laughs> All right, Joey, congratulations and thanks for joining us. Great. Thanks, guys.